It's amazing how depressing a forest that's been burnt down is. Uh, oh well, no matter. Let's get to this. Now, why did I actually come here? Well, I'm assuming it's got something to do with those things. Of course. And they're glowy and moving, so that obviously means something is up and something's about to happen. Alright. Stop attacking Lena for Christ's sake, Jesus. Okay, trigger. They critical a lot. Now what I need is one spell, and it's the one that back one there has, so I must hit it quickly. Hey. Eh? Okay. There we go. That's what I wanted. Now quickly, Faris, do your thing! I hope I have enough gold for this. Sweetness! Right, easy battle, and I learned what I wanted to learn. Well done, you've destroyed the seals. Mohaha, I suppose I should thank you for saving me the trouble. Oh, not a problem, broski. Oh, it's you. The guy with the cool helmet. They attacked us! It's their fault! Well, they look like crystals. Nash is harsh. <laughs> Lightning power! But unfortunately for you, Exeter, there's only four crystals. Which means you can only do that to four people. <laughs> right, it's apparently it's something that's apparently grand, but... How do you know it wasn't something to do with something else? Let's ride, Drake. They see it to see the light of day. Oh, okay. Nah. Nice shot. Apparently, she can curve magic. Boomerang style. Huh, wrong. Uh -oh. Bitch about to get her ass kicked. I was bored last night and I decided to read up on her. And I always thought she was about eight years old, but I learned like last night that she's actually fourteen. I was like, what? Which kind of makes me understand some of why she's a bit more adult than normal kids. Eh. I have to admit, it was a nice try. Ugh. You will not stop me, I ain't gotta. My beard compels me to kick your ass. Beard powers, activate! It doesn't matter to me. Wait a minute, only Gallif got up there. Why has he activated all four crystals? Yeah, screw you, man. Now you only got three. Yeah, suck it down, bitch. Wow, Gallif. You are crazy. Oop. Right, I'm okay. Oh, this theme. Ugh. 
I've always wondered what would happen if you actually managed to get him up to, like, max health. Max level on stuff, and then just start kicking the crap out of Exeter. There's two ways I could do this battle. I could do it this way, or I could do it the blue magic way. You self-destruct instantly end the battle. I decided to do this just to make Gallif look like he's going out with a fight. Trust me, this battle gets very dull and tedious when you've got a low power attacker. Literally, uh, I think the last time I played this I had him as the samurai and he would just not die. That's X death, not Gallif. And he just kept attacking, and he kept attacking, and it was just like, one after the other, after the other, after the other, after the other, just kept one back and forth, back and forth. I swear that battle took me an hour simply because of this really low attack damage I was doing. I was doing like 98 damage a hit. In this one, I'm obviously doing a hell of a lot more. Okay, forget what I said. Even at max level, there is no way Gallop would survive that. You can't kill Gallop. He's got his beard powered activated. Beard power. <laughs> I'm just going to drag you by your helmet. Uh, come on, you bastard. You can't kill him. He's got to... Honestly though, how much HP does this guy actually have? All the hatred and resistance would never be enough to defeat me. It isn't hatred, it's... What is it, Gallif? What is it? I must know! Haha, <laughs> counter-attacks for the win. Why do I keep almost kicking him? I'm going to kick you in the face. Take your helmet right off. I don't get why he has that sword. Huh. We kicked each other's asses. Very good. Right, x -Death, if you kindly uh, go away so I can, you know, come kick your ass later. I'm coming for you, x -Death. On your feet, ladies. Damn, if only I had that ability. If only Gallif always had that ability. That gill turtle would have been a breeze. Oh no. Well, I was planning on that anyway. Oh no, sad death. Uh, but you're not even a white mage. She is, though. We haven't got any elixirs. And Phoenix Stones only work on KO'd opponents. He's dead. Oh, dear. Flame has flickered out. What? Well, that was an incredibly sad and something moment. Well, screw you, I'm out of here. Ring around the grill, ring around the grill. Whenever you're ready. Got the floor, it's dirty down there. Treasures, treasure, treasure, no treasure on here, you'd think there would be. Get up! You gonna get up now? Oh good. Well, something's happening. Pass. How'd you open that door? What? 
You confuse me, young lady. Woo, fancy. And weird. Mm-hmm. She's 14! Then again, she's not the youngest of the FF cast... In the FF cast games. In the FF games cast to fight. I mean, there's Palom and Pollum in FF4. Realm in 6. Yuffie's only two years older than her. Any others I'm missing? Vivi's apparently like three in FF9. Or he's young ish, I know that. Mm hmm. Then let's do it. He is the most awesome Windrake. Wait a minute. Drakes can't land in the forest. Drakes can't land in the forest! I don't know where I was going with that story cutscene. Anything can happen. Let's get flam, uh, homie. Alright. I hope she hits as hard as her grandpa did. Although apparently she's more of a mage based character, so. Yeah. I can't leave her. Oh, what? Hang on. Follow this. Ah, there we go. Now, I have a full map available to me now, so. Well, pretty much anyway. So. I'm going to go quickly do a few things and then I'll be back in the next part. Just, uh, and in that part, we're taking on Xdeath. Or at least his castle. Xdeath himself's got to play it. Anyway, uh, later.